Welcome to DevKit Weekly, and this week we'll be scoping out Versalogic's Tetra ARM slash Android eval kit. I know I say that a lot of the kits we cover on DevKit Weekly really have all you need to get started right out of the box, but this time I really mean it. I mean, check out this huge box behind me here. So before we dive into the more technical details, let's go over some of the high-level contents of the box. So the box includes Versalogic's VL-EPC2700 EDK eval board with a modified U-Boot U bootloader and micro SD card that contains a demo Android OS image. There's also this uh, 7-inch HDMI touchscreen display um, that also comes with an HDMI and USB cable. Back in the box, there's also a 4-port USB 2.0 hub that can be used to power the touchscreen, a 12-volt power supply that's used to power the VL EPC 2700 board, and even an RS-232 debug cable. So basically, from now on, I'm going to be a little bit more selective when I say that a kit has everything you need. The VL-EPC2700 EDK eval board is equipped with a quad-core iDynamic 6 applications processor from NXP that's powered by ARM Cortex-A9 CPUs. There's also a 2D slash 3D graphics engine on the chip. Accompanying that is 4 gigs of soldered on DDR3 DRAM, 128 kilobytes of uh, magnetic RAM, 8 gigs of eMMC flash, um, a SATA 2 port for high capacity storage, uh, mini PCIe or mSATA socket, um, and of course, the micro SD socket that I mentioned earlier that accepts the pre-programmed SD card. From an I.O. standpoint, you've got gigabit ethernet with network boot capability, a couple of CAN ports, a uh, couple of serial I.O.s, um, eight GPIOs and three PWM outs, um, a couple of USB 2.0s, a MIPI camera input, uh, both an LVDS um, output and an HDMI output, and then of course that mini PCIe socket that I talked about earlier allows you to plug in Wi-Fi modems, GPS, additional ethernet, um, and other modules as well. But with all that being said, the claim to fame of this eval kit is really the rugged construction of the board, which you might have started to suspect from the heatsink, which is on top of the NXP uh, apps processor here. But what's not immediately apparent is the VL-EPC2700 has been qualified to MIL standard 202G uh, for use in high shock and vibration environments, and it also supports uh, negative 40 to plus 85 degrees Celsius operating temperature ranges. Outside of aerospace defense, and industrial applications, um, an 8 to 17 volt power input range also means that it can be used in 12 volt automotive applications as well. And for lovers of computer on module architectures, uh, it has mounting holes that comply with the ComExpress basic form factor standard, um, so it can be dropped onto existing carrier board based designs. When you put all this together and boot up Tetra for the first time, you'll end up with a standard Android to screen displaying on the 1024 by 600 pixel LCD we talked about earlier. You need to install some uh, software packages in order to proceed, but, but Versalogic provides a user's guide that helps walk you through the steps. The guide continues to cover some more advanced features as well, such as connecting Tetra to other CAN-enabled devices. From a construction standpoint, the Versalogic Tetra is as robust, if not more so, than any other kit that we reviewed on DevKit Weekly. That makes it a great starting point for engineers um, who are working on more serious designs, while the step-by-step -step tutorials on how to get the Android OS up and running uh, with U-Boot can help beginners get acquainted with the world's most popular mobile operating system. So if you're interested in blending the ruggedness of an aerospace and defense system with the mobility of a smartphone, you can purchase the Tetra development kit for, from DigiKey for 599 bucks. Or you can take a shot at winning this one for free by entering this week's raffle, which is linked to on the screen here. Um, it's also linked to in the description below. Best of luck to this week's raffle participants, and we'll see you next week on DevKit Weekly.